squeaky cheese curds. Take one. Today we're talking about cheese curds. Fresh, buttery, salty, squeaky cheese curds. How they're made and how you can do them yourself at home. And we're lucky enough to have Kurt Beecher Dammeyer of Beecher's Handmade Cheese with us today. You guys are also from Pike Place Market. That's where you guys got your start, just like us here at Chef Steps. I want to get to the bottom of your process and then walk through how we make squeaky cheese curds. So I want you to taste the curd and give us some feedback. But why don't we start with how you got started uh, here in the Pike Place Market? So Beecher started pretty simply just because I personally just love cheese. And then one day I was in Pike Place Market and I walked by and saw the space that Beecher's is in now mm -hmm. and it was empty. And I just stopped there and looked at it and looked at it. And that was the moment that mm -hmm. Beecher's really got started. And since then you've been making, you guys make a lot of cheeses. Like chips are number one cheese right. by far. That's what most people I think know Beecher's handmade cheese by. Right. Um, so squeaky cheese curds. Why do people love them so much? And what do you look for in an awesome squeaky cheese curd? Well, to me, there's really four things. And okay. it starts with when you put it in your mouth, the first thing you get is this intense saltiness, kind of like popcorn. Yeah. The next thing you you get is instantly you get that squeak on your on mm -hmm. your teeth. Yeah. That that, that ear, internal ear. squeakiness. Yeah. Can you hear it? Then you get the texture, that, that kind of rubbery, chewy texture that's rubbery yeah. and chewy, but in a good that way. That leads to more squeaks, too. And then lastly, you're left with kind of this milky, creamy flavor. So salt, squeak, that really, really, really amazing chew, and then that creamy, nutty texture you're really just left with in the end. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the process that Beecher's uses. So cheese curds are part of the process of making our flagship cheddar cheese. So our normal process for making that cheese starts with great milk. And we use a combination of Jersey milk and Holstein milk. And then uh, raw milk is like salmon. Mm -hmm. You've got to eat it fast. And so for us, that means that we try to get the milk in the vat, making cheese out of it within about 12 hours after it comes wow. out of the cow. All right. Uh, get it in fresh the right cultures, the right rennet, you guys are using chymosin. And then we add kind of standard cheddar culture set. Mm -hmm. And then we use mesophilic cultures, which are primarily from the Swiss tradition. The method that we've been using probably follows the same path somewhat, right? Starting with amazing milk, get it in fresh. We're using pasteurized whole milk. We add a little bit of calcium to tighten up the curd. Uh, we also use a sous vide tool, Juul, to precisely control the temperature which I'm sure, as you know, when you're making cheese, you really gotta get the temperature just right and getting the moisture out of the curd as fast as you can or at the right time, and then you salt them. I wanna show you our curds. I want you to taste them, and I, wanna, I want your thoughts on whether you think they're just spot on or where we can improve, actually. Perfect. Cool, it's a moment of truth. Time to cut the curds. They look good. So we're gonna cut them. Feels good. It does feel good. So, let's see what you think. Don't break my heart. They're close. They have that beautiful salty exterior that just melts away. The texture's a little loose. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I like them. Mm. Are we gonna go up to Beecher's and are you gonna taste, if taste you've got them side time, by yeah. side? I'm sold. Let's go give it a whirl. Ooh. Okay, uh, yours are a little butterier, but we're pretty darn close. We're pretty darn close. And you know what? These are still really good, but yours are squeaky. Those are really good. All right, I'm gonna head back to Chef Steps. I'm gonna throw a couple more trials in. All right. Dude, thanks Thank for your you. help. Thanks for everything. If you wanna learn how to make amazing, fresh, squeaky cheese curds, almost as good as Beecher's, go to chefsteps.com. Or if you're in Seattle or in their Flatiron District location in New York, stop by and grab some fresh, squeaky cheese curds. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for Thank helping you. out. Yeah. God, those are good. <laughs>